Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. Once again, we're taking a look at the GPD Win Max, GPD's answer to a gaming laptop, except obviously handheld. Uh, this is PlayStation 3 emulation running with Demon Souls right now. I've gone ahead and made one small little change. You do have to do the, uh, if you actually take a look at the configuration wiki, there's just one little check that you need to make, uh, which is with regard to color blending. And I have unchecked down mixing sound. There is a bit of an echo bug, or bug issue. It's more to do with emulation than anything else. You can kind of hear it there. Doesn't matter what you do, whatever uh, API you use. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lower that down. so it's not super annoying. So two important things to pay attention to up here is obviously we are using Vulkan as the backend as that is the preferred backend to be using pretty much for a lot of emulators going on into the future now. Uh, here's our package temperature. This is across all the cores and also uh, the GPU. So this is what our SOC is reporting as its current temperature, which is super, you know, low, which is great because the heatsink is kind of over engineered. One of the things that you're going to see here is that I am running at 20 watt, which is not what a lot of people getting these prototypes are set to right now. By default, everyone's at 25 watt to 30 watt. But it, uh, what's good to know here is that I am giving this device less power and we are still hitting pretty good frame rate. Um, so this is ideal in that we can still give the device considerably more power uh, and yet it's still running PlayStation 3 emulation at a lower wattage. One thing worth noting about here is that I have kind of just run through all this outside of touching the sword up a front, so up ahead. Uh, so one thing that you will notice is that we are in compiling shaders down here because I've already pre-compiled them. Once I go past this particular area, you should start noticing that um, there will be slight hitching while we compile new shaders for the new area, but this is to be expected. Nice. Demon Souls being one of the first games before Dark Souls came out and still um, very much still having that Kingsfield feel from from software. It's actually a pretty big from software fan before I actually even knew, you know, yeah, before they got even huge with the whole Kingsfield uh, Dark Souls thing. So right here we should be compiling new shaders. You saw it right down there. We're going to be doing that right now and this is good just because um you know i wanted to give someone basically an idea of what that looks like we could see you know how performance is before compiling shaders and then while compiling shaders just so that we get a, a healthy dose of both
see if I can repel this in time. Yeah. It is also important to notice frame time. Which is fine because I don't even have a shield. We're <laughs> just staring at each other. So one thing to note here is this frame time, and you can see this fluctuating a little bit higher than 32 milliseconds. We would really love it to be kind of dialed in at 32 milliseconds. Uh, fluctuating to up to 39 isn't a big deal, um, but <clears throat> kind of does highlight that it isn't perfectly 30 frames a second, uh, but it's just something to kind of pay attention to as we're looking at these metrics while I'm playing this. Uh, it is also important to note that uh, it plays super smooth. So not that I'm actually noticing that frame uh, frame rate variance, frame time variance. Um, it's just something to be mindful of. Oh, son of a biscuit. How dare you shoot me with a... Was that unknown soldier? Oh, son of a... Please just want to refocus here. <laughs> and the Havoc physics engine. Oh, biscuits. <laughs> Ganto X. Now we will see some dips in frame rate here as we are. You can see a lot of geometry and a lot of other things isn't here, and it's actually compiling in real time. Um, but even even so, like compiling that in real time. Uh, the other thing to note here is that. We are running at 720p, however, we are at 75% resolution scale, 
Um, I could probably bump that up, but I like to keep it at 75% just because it gives me enough headroom to kind of always have that um, solid frame rate. And especially with emulated games, PC native games can fluctuate a bit and still feel good, but emulated games really, really need to be like dialed in on constant frame rate and hitting exactly what the game should be running at to be playable. Anything going less is pretty, pretty bad. But still mostly playable while we're waiting for that and frame rate was actually really good that entire time so this is totally going to be a game that is going to be playable absolutely and especially as more and more advancements come to rpcs3 uh thankfully that sound echo bug is no longer an issue where we are here right now which is great you can hear fluctuations in sound as we kind of bump up against that frame time but once this entire place is compiled and built, still fine. You could probably try to look at uh, time stretching, but that will actually cost some to us in terms well, of performance and resources. Man, it's such what intense a echo. Anywho, uh, this is Demon Souls running on RPCS3. I will be showing you guys some more stuff as we go on, and I'll be giving you a full in-depth review in about a week and change. I just want to make sure that I fully kind of hammer in on this machine and see what we're actually capable of doing. Again, this is running at 20 watts. You're going to want it as by default, it comes at a higher wattage, uh, at a higher TDP. Um, I am going down only because at this particular TDP, if we were to gun this machine, as we are right now, just playing a game, uh, it is a 57 watt hour battery, and this will get us closer to um, um, this will get us closer to two hours of battery life. You don't see it down here um, because if I'm plugged in, but if you unplug it, you're going to see um, in a moment total system power. You can see that we're using 30 watts of power at the moment. Um, so the nice thing is like when I'm plugged in, it's actually running off of mains instead of the battery, which is the, this is the only time that you would see this. Um, and this becomes zero and it was locked on. You didn't see this the entire time because we were running directly off of mains. Um, that's it. Uh, I'll be putting out new videos uh, every day, hopefully two or three a day. As always, guys, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.